Hey guys, it's The Real Reviews. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I got something really cool. I got the Costco Troy Built 21 inch TB 235 XP mower. This is a 159 cc Honda motor in this Troy Built right here. And they don't get any better than this. And it's actually at Costco right now for 329. It's a steal. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing putting it together and then a review after I mow my lawn. So I'm gonna talk about the specs. I'm gonna keep it short and show you guys how it looks, how to put it together and how simple it actually is. It's a self-propelled front wheel drive. It also has variable controls, which is awesome. Uh, a couple different things. It's got a 1.3 quart fuel tank and you never have to do an oil change. That's the beauty of it. Let's take a look at the box. I'm gonna go over a couple more of the specs on it and let's open it up. So here's the look at the box right here and this is how it came delivered. Straight from Costco, it's their special model, the 235 XP. It's got a lot more features than all the other stores and that's what you get from Costco. You get quality. Also, this model that's similar to this is about $350 in any other store. So you're actually paying more. This is $329. It's about 81 pounds. Uh, the mower itself because it's self-propelled. It also has a dual lever. So if you go to the store, they don't have that variable speed technology for the front wheel drive. This also has 11 inch tires in the back, as you can see, and eight inch in the front. And I'm gonna go over that once we open it up. No more oil changes. You just check it. If you need it, you top it off. It is amazing. There's a 20 ounce oil capacity in here. So no more oil changes, which caught my eye. And the cutting height on this is an inch and a quarter to three and three quarters, which is awesome. And it's got the auto choke. So let's open this up and let's take a look. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Um, this is what I got at uh, Costco. So this is what it looks like uh, for the tag. It says 159cc, the MTD Troy Built XP mower, 329, if you can see that. Um, some of the other things it has is front wheel uh, drive, self-propelled three in one capabilities and I'll kind of get into that recoil start with auto choke and a deck wash hose adapter which is great it washes um, the mulch grass and cleans it out from underneath all right let's get into it let me open it up and see how it looks on the inside So if you can see how it's packaged. It does have uh, the four engine cycle oil, which is built in. That's 10W30 right there. So this uh, meets or exceeds the standards. So that goes all into your unit and also has some of the attachments. It has your it also has a grass bag. So this is the attachment that goes inside. And here is the Troy built grass bag right here. It's uh, dust proof as well. And I believe holds over 1.8 bushels of grass. So here is another attachment and we're kind of going to look at everything and how it goes in but let me give you a closer look how it's packaged so it's basically all put together if you can see right there and we're going to take it out and let's put uh let's take a look at it so here's the troy build 235 xp out of the box really easy some of the things you need to do if you look at the bottom of it right here, you can see that, um, that the handle is actually blocking the blade. So be careful, you gotta pull that out before starting. Very easy to do. So let's go over the steps here. We're gonna remove these two red handles on the sides right here. And on the sides here, we're gonna pull that out and these two black ones right here. But before we do that, let's pop this back. 
And once we pop it back, Right now, we're just gonna hold it like that because we can't put the red adapter on until we pull it back. So let me remove the two black pieces. And we're gonna move it up eight inches about. And you're gonna see once they pull in position a little dirty from the oil which is fine you're gonna find the threaded holes and you're gonna lock those back in place so I screwed it on. I wasn't gonna waste any of your time. Very easy. Um, I had to find the holes, lift it up about eight inches. Now it can move. Um, also, I attached the two side clips to position it as well. So this is the extra um, assemblies that are added to it. If you wanted to do the mulcher, you can add that on. And if you wanted to do the side discharge, you can also add this on, but I'm using the bag, so the grass bag, so I'm not gonna need to install any of these. Also some other things, we gotta add oil before use, and we're gonna go over that a little bit in detail. So let's look at the bag now. So here's the bag here, and what I did, it's very easy. I just slid it in, and make sure this um, top piece is on the Troy build side. So all I'm doing now is putting the clips around here um, to go around the metal portion of it and you're just going to do that one by one all around the metal frame that came with it so it's not it's kind of pain in the butt but we got to do it So you go from the inside, pop the sides up, and pop it in. Just make sure you kind of go in the pattern, because if you don't, it's going to be a headache. Sorry. There you go. Now the bag is fully installed right here got the pad on the inside if you can see there little quality control and then you can grab it from the back there's a handle all right let me put it on wow this thing looks amazing it is solid the 11 inch wheels in the back the 8 inch in the front it's gonna add to durability to movement um, as well as that let's lift the handle now to the back very easy assembly make sure you lift these handles back very cool And there we have it there. Now we're gonna add the oil. So make sure you lift the lever. It's really cool, it has the two levers also. We're gonna go over that as well. And now we're gonna put the oil in and then the gas cap. Let's look at the other side. So here is the gas cap assembly and we're gonna remove this and discard this piece right here. And so this is where we add the gas obviously. And if you can see right there, this is a hose insert and with that is where we can connect the hose so we uh, moisten up the grass or the mulch on the bottom clean it out we're gonna insert the oil as well so let's look at that dipstick and insert that oil so like I said 10w30 
here is the dipstick right here you can see there's no oil in there as we speak very nice that they did add the oil and I didn't have to buy any And like I said, there is no oil changes on here. Once we filled up this oil that's meant to be filled up the whole way, close up the oil. There will be some smoke once you start it. Let me go get some gas and let's start it up. So I just did add some regular unleaded gas there. Not a full tank. Make sure you close the cap really good so there's no air. And let's pull the lever back. Before I forget, let me show you the awesome controls here. It's got really nice rubber grips. You're going to pull it back. And then for the self-propelled, um, all the way down is turtle speed and pull it up to rabbit speed. You, underneath is a drive adjustment on the bottom side. It's a small dial and you can pull that and changes the drive adjustment as well and how fast it moves. Very awesome. Got it at Costco. Let's see how it runs. So here guys, take a quick look at the front tires. I also moved it up to four in, uh, to the four dial, which uh, cuts it a little bit better. If you, I'll show you how the grass was cut, but I'm gonna show you how the tires. If you do not pull the levers on the top, like I showed you, you will not have the front wheel drive self-propelled. So let's take a quick look. If you saw the front tires moving and it's also how much you push the two levers so if you want it very slow you push it slow you adjust the dial on the bottom and there you have it thank you guys for watching let's take a quick look at the lawn after I'm done you can see the nice clean lines on the lawn it uh, cleans it up very well everything went into the uh, grass bag the lines look very nice you can also do a diagonal I did it straight and the lawn was cut perfectly. Looks wonderful. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you have any other power tools, I'm going to buy some uh, trimmers, uh, a blower, everything brand new. This is the 2021 model. And everything I'm going to buy is going to be 2021, 2022. Please subscribe. Got more stuff coming.